TV. Right, she won a gold medal in the Olympics. I wish I could skate like Christy. Let's go! Lots of practice and plenty of energy. So you eat a lot of chips and drink a lot of soda, right? Wrong. Good energy comes from getting lots of exercise and eating plenty of healthy food. Busted! The most important thing I do for myself is start each day with a healthy breakfast. It gives me the energy I need to perform my best. It also makes me more alert. Eating breakfast makes you more alert? Definitely. A good breakfast helps me concentrate and makes learning things like a new routine easier. But I'll be late for school if I stop for breakfast. It takes less time than you think to start each day with a healthy breakfast. Someone mentioned breakfast? The most beautiful word in the English language. Ah, breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. A fabulous feast of diurnal dimension. In other words, good eats. <laughs> oh, breakfast, how do I love you? Let me count the ways. I had no idea breakfast was that important. Who is that guy? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Wendell Q. Weisenheimer. Professor Emeritus from the University of Eastern... Well, look, enough about me. Did everyone here have a good breakfast this morning? I did. Cereal with fruit and a big glass of milk. I think I ate the food that's best for me. I skipped breakfast, but I can make up for it at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing. We have some lovely party gifts for you. Christy, your answer, please. Breakfast works for me. ding a ling a ling -a. Now, that's what I call a gold medal answer. But, Professor, you may ask, how do I know if I'm eating right? But, Professor, you may ask... But, Professor... Thanks for asking. Once you know the basics, eating right all day long is a snap. <laughs> Here, let me show you what I mean with this movie. <laughs> He can hardly stay awake in class. And after school, he doesn't even feel like playing baseball. Why is Johnny so tired? Why can't he concentrate? Could it be his nerdy clothes? Or is it poor nutrition? Hey, that's not right. Everybody needs food. But with so many choices, deciding what to eat can be very confusing. So a bunch of really smart people have made it easier by dividing all the foods in the world into five main groups. You've got your bread and cereals group. Things like bread and cereals, but also spaghetti and rice and ooh la la, baguettes. That's French bread. Then you've got your fruit and vegetable group, also known as the things that grow in the ground group. Meat is a group. Dried beans, peas, and nuts are also in the meat group. And last but not least is the milk group. That includes anything made with milk, like uh, yogurt or cheese and even ice cream. But watch out! Some foods are higher in fat than others and can turn a perfectly wonderful food choice into an evil monster food with an enormous nose like Millard Fillmore. Okay, not really, but you get what I mean. Now that we have our groups, what do we do with them? Turn them into a fun, easy-to-remember shape like a dodecahedron? Nah. Or a rhombus? Not bad. Or a pyramid? Yeah, that's the ticket to good nutrition. A pyramid with a pyramid shape. It's easy to see how much you need to eat from each food group every day. At the base, the widest part of the pyramid, you've got the bread and cereal group. Eat your largest number of servings from this group. About nine servings every day. Then comes fruit and vegetables. Fruits like apples and bananas, oranges, raisins. And vegetables of all shapes, sizes, and colors. At least 
five a day from this group is best. Then come the milk and meat groups. You'll need two to three servings of each to meet your daily requirement. And then capping it all off, the fat, oil, and sugar group. But you shouldn't have too much of these. So, keeping all this in mind, what's a good choice for breakfast? This entire chicken dipped in chocolate and rolled in marshmallows? Or this bowl of oatmeal with raisins, milk, and orange juice? Okay, okay, that was an easy one. But how about this? Take my lunch, please. Should you choose A, this salad heaped with dressing, a granola bar, and ice cream, or B, this tasty sandwich with grapes and cookies? If you chose A, then you just stood the entire pyramid upside down. You don't want to do that. Be careful because it's very easy to turn a good thing bad. Although there are lots of healthy vegetables in that salad, it's drowning in the fat and the dressing. And while granola and milk may be healthy choices, all that added sugar and fat is... And where's the fruit? Remember, you need at least five a day of these babies. So choose B. All the parts of the pyramid in balanced amounts. Keep the five food groups and the food pyramid in mind when it's time for dinner. And that might mean pitching in to help mom or dad make good food choices. Now that you know all about good nutrition, here's a pop quiz. What do you say to lots of fatty foods? Yeah. What do you say to fruits and vegetables? Yeah! Five and a day! Hooray! Thanks, Professor, for telling us how important it is to start each day with a healthy breakfast. There's another way to learn the building blocks of good nutrition. Me, 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 me. Maestro, if you please. That's the way to eat right. Just remember when it's meal time. That's the way to eat right. I'll tell you what you need to know. Everything your body needs to grow. Bread and cereal and raisins too. Fruit and vegetables are good for you. Top it off with milk and meat. Sugar is okay for a treat. Oh, yes. That's the way to eat right. Healthy foods will make you feel fine. That's the way to eat right. Just remember when it's meal time. That's the way to eat right. That's the way to eat right. Healthy foods will make you feel fine. That's the way to eat right. Just remember when it's meal time. Hey, that's the way to eat right. You know, it's not just what you put into your body that counts. To really be your best, you have to keep your body in good shape, too. I like playing soccer. I think gymnastics is a good way to exercise. But isn't exercising really boring? Not necessarily. Really? Come on, I'll show you. With this picture nothing absolutely nothing look at these perfectly healthy kids building strong muscles they're actually smiling physical fitness doesn't have to be evescent our motto is it's hip to be fit there are lots of things that count as exercise simple things we all know about running and jumping and uh, push-ups but there are lots of other things that count too take a dip swimming's a great physical activity tennis anyone there's a soccer league that's just right for you. You'll flip if you learn a martial art. Go out for a run with some friends, and if you're really daring, hang ten at the beach. Get outside with your family, rake leaves, help around the yard, help out around the house. It's easy to stay fit with activities you do every day. exercising with my family. Keeping fit is a lot easier when you choose activities you like with people you like. Boy, I'm pooped. I don't 
empty hat you got since don't feel like skating. Staying fit takes time. If you start out with the right exercises, you'll be amazed at how quickly you'll build up your stamina and muscle power. <laughs> Nope, that's not it. Oh, no. Uh -huh. no. Oh, no. Ow! <laughs> there you are. Professor, are you all right? Yes, yes, yes. I just wanted to tell everyone about doing the crab. If you're too pooped to party, this is your answer. Do the crab. It's one of the great exercises recommended by the President's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports. They recommend that everybody do about 30 minutes of physical activity every day. The President of the United States has a special program designed to school <laughs> kids. There are more than 20 activities, different ones for different ages. You can do flip-flops, crunches, and the ever-popular crab dips. Crab dip, anyone? <laughs> When you know all the ways of keeping fit, it doesn't seem fair that exercise has gotten such a bad rap. Uh-oh. Did somebody say rap? Uh-oh. It's hip to be fit. It can be done by everyone. Say it again. It's hip to be fit. It can be done by everyone. Fitness is fun. It's not real hard to stay in shape. A little bit of time is all that it takes. Do the crab, the crunch, or do the flip-flop. Exercise to make you feel tip-top. The more you move, the better you feel. I kid you not, this stuff is for real. If you want to be the best you can be, you've got to get up. How do you see? It's hip to be fit. It can be done by everyone. Say it again. It's hip to be fit. It can be done by everyone. Fitness is fun. First things first, you got to warm up. So come on, start walking around. Swing your arms and keep it brisk. Now add stretches. Up, up, up. Keep on stretching and start to skip. Find a partner, go toe to toe. Jump and touch. Jump and touch. Now turn that skip into a gallop and find another partner. With this one, your elbows touch. Then shoulders touch for a while. And finish up with a power walk. I bet you're warmed up by now, so you're ready for the upper body challenge. Everybody, do the crab. On all fours like you got claws. Now, if you're five or six years old, back supports are what you do. Seven or eight, crab kicks are fun. Nine or ten, the crab dips for you. Ten to twelve, you're more advanced. These are chair dips, try a few. Now, everybody, flip flop. Keep on flipping, keep on flopping. Now, five to eight, and walk the line. Just from the knees if you're under seven. Nine to twelve, hop the line. Add a clap if you're over ten. Moving on to your abdominals, there are the muscles from here to here. Find a partner, then a ball. One does curl-ups, the other tosses. Okay, switch and try again. Keep that partner and pass the ball. Time for you to go on your own. Everybody, take the curl-up position. Five, six, lift head and wave. Seven, eight, go lower down. Nine, ten, your curl-up throws. Eleven, twelve, try these crunches. It's hip to be fit, so try your challenge. Cooling down is your next step. Now just walk, but keep that partner. Repeat your stretches one more time. And finish up with a slow walk. That's all there is to this routine. Now that you know all about good nutrition and physical fitness, there's only one more thing to remember. What's that, Professor? Get plenty of rest. Thanks, Professor. Thanks for teaching us all about nutrition and fitness. Yeah, we really had a fun time, Christy. I had fun too, and learned a lot about keeping healthy. Hey, look at Zach. Whew, I'm ready for a snack. Me too. What would that be? Raisins, yeah! All right.
you'd like more information about how to stay as healthy as you can be, write to Raising Youth Fitness, the President's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports, Washington, D.C., 20004. The President's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports and the U.S. Surgeon General want you to know that fitness and good health begin at home. Exercise and good nutrition should be part of every school health program. To help this country meet its health objectives by the year 2000 and get every one of us on the right path to lifelong health, encourage your community to make physical fitness a top priority. And start your own program today.